Hello ladies and gentlemen, karibuni katika kipindi cha The Package, kipindi ambacho kinakujia kila siku muda kama hui fika hapo siku ya Ijuma, Ijuma pili na Ijuma nne. Cha kufanya wewe endelea kututazama tu, lakini usisahau kusubscribe, ku like na ku share. Ikiwezekana comment hapo chini maoni yako juu ya kitu ambacho kinaongelewa hapa ndani. Mhm. I'm going to be the name Naima official, niko na yule girl and I'm Jed Gadi. All right. So it is what it is. Hivyo ndivyo ambavyo tumeweza kufungua kipindi chetu and tupo na tuko chini ya udhamini mkubwa sana wa Sesan Products mafuta halisi ambayo uh, yanakufanya wewe uweze kuonekana kuwa na muonekano mzuri. Si mafuta tu, lakini pia kuna asali. So ni kwa bei nafuu kabisa inaweza kupatikana uh, hapa katika Sesan Media zetu zinapatikana na maduka yote ukitembelea utapata products zetu. Actually siku ya leo tuna mambo kadhaa wa kadhaa ambayo tunaenda kuyaongelea humu ndani yeah, right yeah. and moja kati ya mambo ambayo tunaenda kuyaongelea humu ndani it's all about long distance relationship mm-hmm. yani mahusiano ya mbali mm-hmm. like maybe una date someone yuko mbali na wewe maybe kimkoa kinchi na vitu kama hivyo unawezaje ku handle relationship hiyo unawezaje kuimudu relationship kama hiyo hapa mm-hmm. leo tutakupatia Um, vitu vya kuzingatia katika long distance relationship. So kama upo wewe ndani ya long distance relationship, ukifanya hivyo vitu lazima itakuwa ni perfect. Lakini pia kitu kingine nenda kuongelea nini Jade? Um, pia leo tunaenda kuongelea mambo na you know silent treatment. Kama ukijua tumeshajua most of the time kwenye relationship kuna kuwa na vikwazo vingi, kuna kuwa na ugomvi. Kwa hiyo unakuta kwenye easy long distance relationship kuna conflict zina zinatokea pale. So ni jinsi gani ya kufanyaje ya ku apologize yani ku solve issues in the relationship as long as tunaongelea mambo na long distance relationship tutawaambia pia ni jinsi gani ya ku solve hizo conflicts yeah so kama unafahamu wewe maybe mtu wako ni mtu wa ugomvi ugomvi maana yeah. unaona kwamba kwenye relationship ugomvi au ukosi mm-hmm. na ili relationship iweze kuwa perfect lazima mgombane mara kwa mara unajua yeah. vitu kama hivyo mikoa mizano waga high cost na vitu kama hivyo so tunawafurahisha njia nzuri na njia halisi tutaongea hapa ndani mm-hmm. endelea kututazama tu njia za kuzingatia uh, kuepuka katika ugomvi ambao upo katika mahusiano i mean ku, kuepushana ugomvi au ku solve problems ambazo zimepatikana katika mahusiano yeah. you get us yeah, and that how it is i say Tuanze moja kwa moja uh, na mada yetu yes. ya long distance relationship. So ni mimi niki nikianza tu kuuliza wewe my bestie. Yeah. I mean, umewekwa kwenye long distance relationship of course in yes. your life. Na ilikuwaje? How was it? Mm. Do you think long distance relationships zina work? Maybe of course zina work lakini kama kuna trust. Kama kuna yeah, trust. Ya cha kwanza kabisa ni trust kwa upande wangu. <laughs> yeah, zina work kama kuna trust. Yaani huwezi kuwa na mdate someone ambaye yuko mbali na hiyo sema ambapo upo afuka hauna trust naye of yeah. course ni changamoto kupata trust like unjua anafanyaje mm-hmm. anakutana na nani and stuff mm-hmm. like that unjua kuanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni ameshindaje yani you just maybe you just chat au mnaongea kwa call mm-hmm. kwamba how are you doing stuff like that lakini hamuonani face to face like kujua kwamba anaendeleaje sasa inakuwa kidogo trust ni ngumu ingawa inatakiwa unayo yani hiyo inabidi tu una maana no way out Yeah, hata yeah. mimi nasema umeshaongelea trust as in yeah. yani kwenye long distance relationship without trust yeah it's, it's a work nothing. it's not sure. gonna work yeah. like tuseme trust is another trust is one thing uh, kitu kingine ni communication guys sure. kama mkiwa kwenye long distance relationship na hakuna communication between you guys it's going to like you know itakufa okay so you guys have to communicate lazima mko na mawasiliano at least kama mnaelewa na like for me ningependa niseme i have been in a long distance relationship before na tulikuwa tumeelewana with my guy like in the morning lazima tuonge and in the night because hapa uh, yeah. katikati we have some issues you know we are busy yuko busy mimi niko busy so tume plan so una, una plan time span na agree because you guys are adults yeah. na agree maybe ikifika asubuhi tutakuwa tunawasiliana ama ikifika jioni tunawasiliana so mimi nasema communication kwa long distance relationships is a them up okay lakini pia uh, i can say kwamba it's not a matter of agree ni ni kama mtu ujiongee like mm-hmm. mimi sio mpaka nikwambie kwamba i need your text maybe in the morning yeah. afternoon night hey yeah adults right yeah. natakiwa ujiongeze kwamba um, i have my lady mm-hmm. natakiwa nimjulie hali sijui anaendeleaje yeah, amekula nini ameshindaje so you should check up on me baby boy <laughs> don't wait for each other yeah. Yeah. 
you can also be the person to test okay si lazima yeye akutest kwa kwanza you guys are like apart far apart kama ni mkoa mwingine ama nchi nyingine so usisubiri yeye akutest hata wewe yeah. ukachukua simu ukamtext ama ukamcall yeye na make you guys na kwa, kwa ile bond na kitu kingine nemo i think kimpatia mwingine kipaumbele like sema priority, priority yeah, yeah. give your partner priority akwe akwe kipaumbele chako okay think about your job think about your like work family money lakini pia usimsahau yeye you have friends una vitu vingine vya kufanya lakini muweke sure. muweke afue kitu cha kwanza hiyo inasaidia pia kuweka ile bond because mnazingatia um, pia mko mbali okay sure. so ukiweka wa kwanza itasaidia yani ukiamka asubuhi at least you know text ama call you know ukitaka ukiona kitu chochote cha kushare na yeye like Just a happy share. moment share with him or like her umfanya jione kwamba in like ajione kwamba ni wa kwako you yeah, know yeah. like ukiwa na muonyesha care and priority mm-hmm. like ipo mambo tumeweza kusema yeah. kwamba you don't think about yourself ufikiri kwamba hujifikiri wewe sana mm. lakini pia unapata muda wa kufikiri about mwenza wako kwamba mm-hmm. maybe um, kazi kazi zake family yake yeah. you know mpaka unaamua kumdate someone na maisha kwamba umempokea Yeah, yeah. So mempokea so yeye yeah, tulakani pia maybe na family, mm-hmm. vitu vinavyomzunguka kubwa zaidi na mazaifu yake. His Kabisa. weakness pia na kwamba amepokea, si ndio? Mm-hmm. So kwa wewe unaitazama either ni wa kike au ni wa kiume about your partner. Mm-hmm. Um you should do these tasks like mpatia priority, lakini pia hakikisha mawasiliano yanakuepo mm-hmm. na same stuff like that, si ndio? Yeah, pia bila kusahau guys long distance relationship ni kwamba mko mbali. So kama kuna conflict yoyote pale try to talk things out okay kama uko kayuko comfortable na kitu fulani kiongee mwambie sure. ukinyamaza na yeye yuko mbali hawezi kujua like how you feel okay at least kama ni mtu yuko karibu na kuona kabisa anajua kabisa nemo nemo onekani poa you know okay lakini yeah. imagine mtu yuko mbali and then kuna shida pale katikati kuna kitu kimetokea you're not comfortable you're not okay you feel off yani you're not in the mood talk to your partner okay mwambie you don't feel okay kuna shida fulani imetokea kwa hiyo try to talk things out kitu ninachojaribu kusema hapa ni kwamba kuwa muwazi be open minded share your stuff with your partner akusaidie kama kuna kitu anaweza kukusaidia financially ama hata attention ama time sure. anaweza kusaidia yes really. ideas thank you yeah. and then jade i think um kingine ni kwamba ukiwa kwenye relationship mostly long distance relationship yeah. usipende kusikiliza maneno ya watu nje kabisa Nujia, watu wana hey, say, watu wanaongea yes. watu wanaongea na kila mmoja anaongea venye anafikiri right yeah yeah unaweza kuwa umekaa maybe na marafiki zako and mm. marafiki zako maybe hawapendi relationship yako mm-hmm. watakuletea maneno right mm. unaweza kupokea huku ukoje ukapokea huku sio kila mtu akuchukua chukua na dokoa dokoa maybe hapo unachukua like jedi kanambia hivi sio yule pale kanambia hivi afu na vileka kichwani i don't mm. think so kama your relationship it will yeah it will kufa it will die yeah. and one last thing naweza kuongezea hapa it you know what i mean um yani tukio kwenye long, long distance relationship yeah. try to make time hata kama uko mbali that's the key i think it's yes, a key point try point. to make time for each other mm-hmm. mko kazi and all that mm-hmm. lakini once in a while yeah. try to you know visit your partner una surprise visit ama pia mna plan some appointments mnakuwa mna meet meet ups okay meet them after two weeks na depend mtu na nyinyi time yenu ilivyo na kazi zenu ni kwenye kwa hiyo ni sema ni mna agree mnaweza mkamit after two weeks ama after three months wengine hata six months lakini try to meet because lazima kuna mtu mwingine mkuu physically you know connected and like kuna wengine the love language ni touch kwa hiyo you have to be there for your partner kwa hiyo ni sema just try to make time for your partner. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah um are kama ni long distance relationship about gifts. Let's talk about gifts right. <laughs> yes. Oh, no mimi napenda zawadi like serious. <laughs> I like gifts guys. I like gifts. Mm-hmm. So you just date me and then jamani hata zawadi mara moja hamna. <laughs> My dear friend, unakuwa unanipatia like a lot of stress yes. and sipendi stress. Kama uko mbali send some send chocolates to your man. Yeah, we love eating. <laughs> You know, we love we need to napenda kula jamani. Yes. Sio kula tu jamani, kuna vitu ambavyo maybe kuna saa, chain, yes. dress like, you know, a beautiful dress like for your that. girl. Dress. It will not sure. cost you much. Na uko mbali, just send it. Just surprise your lady. <laughs> surprise your man, you know, like yeah. gifts ni kitu ambacho kinafanya mtu kwanza kinaongeza happiness mm-hmm. kwenye relationship. So you guys, I think mmepata jambo tu kwa tumeanza kuongea yeah. mpaka now. 
hizo ni points ambazo niza kunote na niza kuchukua jamani kama unataka yes. relationship yako idum and mostly long distance relationship so mm. try to practice these things it will save you sana 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 tunaongea by experience by the way yeah. sindi tunaongea sindi ve yes we are not teachers we are also learning yeah. as tunajifunza so you know what guys long distance relationships zimekuwa changamoto sana na no, watu wengi wanaamini yeah. kwamba long distance high work yeah but watu wengi wanaamini na long distance lakini ipo it's ca- yeah it's possible ipo ipo ipo, ipo but ni wewe ndio unataka isiwepo yeah Yeah, but if you love your man, maybe your lady, you can wait. Yes, you can sacrifice, you know. Na long distance it's possible na ziko zina work and vitu vinaenda poa. All right, so I think tumongea mambo mengi sana kuhusiana na masuala mazima long distance relationship. Lakini pia nikukumbushi tu hii hapa ni Sesan Media na kipindi hewani ni the package. Kwa hiyo unaendelea kutetezama, nikosi hii tu endelea ku subscribe. Kama uje subscribe, like, kama uje like share lakini pia comments mawazo yako about this thing about long distance relationship kwa wewe unaelewaje au mimi unafahamu nini kuhusiana hii kitu tunaheshimu mawazo yako yes. utakapoeleka hapo chini sisi hapa tutayafanyia kazi si ndivyo eh mm-hmm. lakini pia kama maybe una, una swali lolote lile about long distance relationship don't be afraid to ask just comment hapo down tutapitia lakini pia jibu lako utalipata soon as yeah. possible tukiona test yako si ndivyo eh yes. so tunaelekea kwenye kuna mazima ya ku solve problems kwenye relationship. Yeah, kuna issues nyingi kwenye relationship. relationship. Kuna matatizo. Kabisa. Like oh, kuna wengine wa maizi siku bila wakagombi. Yeah. Yaani kuna mtaweza kama hizo siku like sija kutu. Yaani like sija kununia leo yaani naona kama yes, I'm not comfortable. Why? Yeah. Why my babe uh, ina hajanuna? Kwa nini? Lazima unone like Hey guys. So, alafu kuna watu wengine wanafanya wana wanafanya hivyo vitu lakini wanashindwa jinsi ya ku mm-hmm. You know? Uh, maybe conflict time of course yeah so the issue ni ku solve how do you solve conflict in your relationship maybe mtu amekuta text in morning yeah. au jamjibu unajua kumjibu maybe at night mm-hmm. alafu kuseme reason behind ni nini cause maybe how okay so you guys i think that's not good yeah it's not good like kama kuna issues zote kwenye mausiano you guys talk them out okay yeah. like ukinyamaza i mean i mean as school example i'm dating a guy alafu amenifanyia kitu kibaya okay then mimi nanyamaza yeye yeah, hajui amenifanyia nini so i have to talk it out wewe kama you're not comfortable you have to talk it out okay wewe mwambie umenifanyia abc na sijapenda na sitaki ijirudie period like utakuwa ume solve vitu vingi kushinda ukinyamaza like silent treatment is sure. not an answer guys na watu wengi wanapendelea sana silent treatment yeah. ambao wanakuwa wako wrong bila kufahamu jamani unajua mtu akiwa amekuuzi au amekukosea we kukaa kimya so solution so solution so you should settle with Kubo. him or her afu mwanze ku discuss kwamba it's a b c sijapenda this mm-hmm. sijapenda this yeye atajirekebisha na jua kwamba i'm wrong yeah. and my partner hapendi hiki kitu Yeah, so na utakuwa umekuwa mature enough you don't talk things out kuweka vitu kwa meza na kuviongelea kushinda kunyamaza kwa sababu ukinyamaza it means utaua relationship yako kama unataka mahusiano yao ma, like na bond you guys have to talk things out ukinyamaza pia unaonekana bado una utoto fulani you have to act as a mature person talk things out kama kweli wewe kwenye mahusiano na umekuwa talk things out lakini pia kuna wale ambao like ume 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 na, na na boyfriend wako yeah. or maybe you man maybe you lady mm-hmm. unaenda kuwasimulia rafiki zako kwamba it's a b c i don't know unamwaminia rafiki yako unaweza kuwa unamwambia maybe um stuff about your man stuff yeah. about your lady <laughs> anavibeba na yenda kuvitangaza so inakuwa ni something ambapo you're messing guys you're messing yeah, out sababu tutakuwa na mess good kuna vitu vingine kwa mahusiano au staili kuviongelea nje. You guys have to sit down with your partner na kuviongelea because ukianza kuongelea vitu vingine nje you just messing up, okay? And that's not a way to solve yes, the problem. Unakuwa uje solve problem lakini umeongeza problem, right? Nemo kuna watu wengine wanasema mimi naweza kuwa na shida as I said, mm-hmm. naenda kumfuata my partner na mwambia I have this problem. Alafu ye ndo anakuwa na shida kunisikiza ama kunilea ama kubadilika. Una unaongeleaje hilo? Like you have a problem, umemfuata mwenzako umemwambia sijapenda kitu fulani na fulani yeah. and then sasa shida ni kwake. Ye ha change wala ha make any efforts. Unawashauri watu kama hao. Your partner is willing to com- to like come and tell you ana confront anakuambia kuna shida fulani kwenye mahusiano yetu and then wewe kama mwenza wake unashindwa kuya kuyachukulia like kuyatilia maanani let me say you're not serious, serious yeah hata ufanyii kazi you're just there 
So utawashona una 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 break. Unamvunja moyo. Unamvunja moyo partner wako like. Yeah. Kwanza na kwambia mbona nisikilizi? Yaani I have a problem a lot. You don't listen to me and you guys kitu ambacho ni kikubwa pia kwenye relationship ni kusikiliza. Unajua hata kama unaona mtu unajibisa my partner anaongea kitu ambacho simuelewi hivi lakini try to understand. Maana yeye hana kumwambia mwingine kaja kwako. Yeah. You just listen and ufanye kutafuta what way ya ku solve hiyo kitu. I think itakuwa ni nzuri zaidi. Yeah, so mtu akija akikwambia kwenye shida fulani kwenye mahusiano, you know what? Yeah. Try to sort that out. Kama uwezi mwambie uwezi labda kuna sema anakusaidia. Ikiwashinda nyinyi wawili, that is when unaweza kufuata mtu mwingine watoto kwenda kumuuliza maybe a friend ama an elderly person our shauri okay i think yeah like yeah. pia kwenye relationship um i think at the key kwa 100 any kwa what any kwenye maybe kuna uomvi mhm wewe uko juu 100% na mimi niko juu 100% that way at least solve problem mm-hmm. i think ndikiwa mmoja anashuka kidogo aha uh-huh. ile ladies i think unajua kwa kuna dada anakaza jamani sio ni kabila gani mimi nisemi yani yeah, kuna dada mnajua kukaza you guys should stop it sawa sana sana um sio kwa ladies tu lakini pia kwa men jamani Nijifunze ku, kushuka, kushuka yani nijifunze kushuka. Ukiona kwamba asa you don't go anywhere. Mpo tu hapo wote mmenuniana, mjui mna solve vipi? Mmoja shuka, just go and ask, "Baby, what's the problem?" Mm-hmm. Ask. Don't be afraid. I think njia ambayo itakuwa imewasaidia sana ku solve uh, conflicts, conflicts ambayo mtakuwa mnaipitia kwenye yeah. relationship yenu. Yeah. So you guys it should be like Yeah, so let to mwelekezea vitu kidogo kidogo tu because mimi ni mchache na tumeamua kuondokeza vitu kidogo kidogo kuhusu mahusiano ya mbali yeah, yeah, and this relationship mambo ya kusolve conflicts nafikiri tutaendelea kuongea zaidi ya nimo yeah tutaendelea kuongea zaidi uh, ili kuwa ni the package ya dakika yes. kadhaa kukupatia wewe uh, zile vitu muhimu ambazo ndio kuzingatia katika vitu mbalimbali kama yeah. katika mahusiano lakini pia katika maisha na leo tumebezi sana katika mahusiano mm-hmm. ndivyo yeah. so bila shaka umetoka na kitu fulani mm-hmm. and till next time i'm gone by the name name official i am will jed gadi bye bye we love you till next bye. time bye